In this episode, we talked to Brian Gregory out of Phoenix, Arizona, and he's got a system that will help to revolutionize your brand. I cannot wait for you to be a part of this conversation with, uh, with Brian. Uh, but before we do go into the conversation, please subscribe to us like our podcast, give us a rating. We'd love to hear your feedback on the content that we bring in every episode to you. Uh, really hoping that will help you to really grow. And so without further ado, let's uh, go and chat with Brian. Brian, welcome to the show. How are you today? Hey, Ricardo, I am doing awesome. Thanks for having me on the show today. It's good to have you. And um, all the way from Phoenix, um, I've heard so much great things about you and I um, uh, appreciate uh, the connection that we have in common. Um, but my guests would love to know who you are and, uh, and what you do. So why don't we start there? Sure. Uh, my name is Brian Gregory. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Admanity and uh, at an Admanity dot com. Mm -hmm. And uh, what Admanity does is uh, very unique. We're, as far as I know, we're the only company in the world doing this. We can analyze any brand online through the use of a single uh, of a five minute online test. Very easy, very simple for any any founder or marketer to take. And uh, and we analyze the brand and we show them instantly what will work better for them in the marketplace, such as the emotions they should be using and the colors and the words and the phrases and the advertising strategies and uh, sort of like an agency but without the high cost of the retain retainer to get an agency mm -hmm. and i got into that because i got uh, i was in publishing for for many many years i owned magazines and uh, i got tired of people who are in small business because small business people are typically not educated on high level advertising techniques they just do the best they can they wing it they send in their ad and they hope it works and uh, most of the time it does not and as the magazine i was getting blamed for their ads not performing in the magazine i got tired of saying it's not me it's you it's your ad i didn't i didn't make this ad so i thought it'd be nice if we could help them create better ads that would actually work so that i wouldn't lose customers and they would make money and lo and behold, it started to work when we started coaching them on what should be in a good ad and what, it, what makes a bad ad. And, and uh, they started having better results and we had happier customers. And it led to the creation of what you now see as Admanity. Oh, awesome. That's, that's pretty nice. So, and, and, and obviously, I don't know if there were anything else before that, but sort of give, give us a, a, a journey how did you actually even get into the, the space where you were helping out, um, you know, individuals or companies with advertisement and so forth as, as far back as we can kind of go for you? Yeah, boy, there's a, there's a, there's a, a trail of, of interesting landmarks there. Most of mm -hmm. my life has been entrepreneurial. I was lucky enough to be introduced to, to being your own boss at the age of 20. Uh, and I, I joined what you would know as a multi-level marketing organization. And I had to learn how to sell because that's what you do. Mm -hmm. And I'd never done anything like that before. And I had never been very good at approaching people or selling. And anyway, it turns out I had, a, I guess, a knack for it. And I did really well. And I, for a while there, I was the number one person in their company and did really well, went to college. And that provided the money I needed to go to college, uh, which was kind of nice. And from there, I got into various, it, it, I was always trying something new. Uh, I had a health club. I had a perfume company. Um, I had um, a body fat testing company, of all things. Um, and I had a, a discount card. And this is before Groupon or before the internet. Um, I had a VIP card that you could just go and flash the card at a restaurant and they'd give you a discount. And mm -hmm. I ended up selling the card to a uh, an, another entrepreneur he liked the business he bought it but he did not want the magazine that came with it we had a little magazine where we promoted all the restaurants in and it, it schmoozed the restaurants is what it really did 
And he said, I don't want that. And I said, yeah, but it comes with this really great print contract. You can't beat it. It's awesome. You should do this. This is what the restaurants sort of want. And uh, he said, no. And I ended up with this contract because it was in my name. So I had to learn how to do publishing because I was more or less stuck with it. And I did not want to be a publisher, but I had to become one. And I had to learn how to sell ads. This is the first time in my life I had to sell advertising instead of just mm -hmm. buying it for all my, my various businesses. And it was a completely different uh, dynamic trying to sell other people things. Because advertising is kind of funny. You don't know if it's going to work. It's almost always a price you don't want to pay. It's something just kind of like, you know, doing accounting. You wish you didn't have to do it, but you kind of know you have to do it. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like I was selling something everybody couldn't wait to hear about. And uh, there's a big lesson there in how to sell advertising. And through all those things, I just got very educated in how to present products to people and what people like and want to hear emotionally in order to buy. So I've done all kinds of things, but this, make no mistake, Advanity is by far the best thing I've ever, ever done in my whole entrepreneurial career. I'm really proud of what we've done here. That's awesome. And congratulations. I mean, um, that's, that's a fantastic journey. And today you have created this system uh, called Admanity. Um, let's talk a little more about that. Um, let's talk a little more about what it really is. Um, um, how can we use this, um, this, this system, this framework that you pull together to, to grow our businesses? Sure. And I can say right up front, anybody can do this. And so there's people out there saying, oh, I don't like advertising. I'm no good at it. I'm not a copywriter. Does not matter. Don't care what your previous experience is. You're a human being and you have a product. We're going to show you how to communicate to other human beings so that they want to buy your product. So think of it like as if, let's imagine you had this fantasy come true that a big fancy ad agency for some reason took an interest in your company and decided to give you all their services for free and they're going to help you create the ads and show you the terminology you should use and you know, the branding tips and advice and, and help you pick out all the images and photos and all that stuff. And they were going to not charge you $50,000, but just a very, very small fraction of that. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. And all small businesses need that. Here's a sad fact. 99% of all the small businesses in the country, probably in the world, will never see the inside of an ad agency because of the cost. And ad agencies aren't bad guys, they're good guys. They know exactly what to do, but they have to charge you enough. It's a lot of work. So they will do a great job, but if you can't afford that, you know, you're out of luck. You're not gonna get agency help. What you're going to do is stumble and bumble and fumble in the jungle until you've maybe hit a good formula that works for you. But most people just get frustrated yeah. about their advertising. So what we did is we created a system based on the last hundred years of ads. So we went through and we looked at all the ads that really did well, not the, I mean, there's millions of ads and most of them are just like everything else. They don't work, but the ones that did, okay, that's the ones we looked at. How did this brand was doing poorly? All of a sudden they start running this ad and boom, everything goes crazy for them. Well, it's the ad. We got to look at that ad. So we looked at the last hundred years of great ads. We created some algorithms, very sophisticated algorithms, so that when we analyze your brand online with a five minute test that you take, what we're doing is we're psychoanalyzing your type of product and we're matching it up with the types of formulas proven to work in the history of mankind, because humans haven't changed in 2000 years, emotions, we, happy is still happy, hungry is still hungry, right? So nothing's changed. So the, the, these formulas tend to work over and over and over again. And you see them in, in the advertising world, you know, same formula, different brand, different, different family in the commercial, right? But it's the same formulas that work, just like mm -hmm. TV, just like on game shows, just like on sitcoms, there are formulas in life. Well, these are the formulas that work to sell stuff. So we simply match you up with your type of emotional products and what emotions will, will trigger the, the, the desire to buy them with mm -hmm. the best advertising formulas 
that have been proven to work on this type of thing. And we show them to you in a very simple, easy to read formula, simple, easy to read wording. You do not have to be an MBA. You do not have to be a psychologist to understand this. Anybody can do it. And what people tell us when they see it, they say two things. One, my mind is completely blown. Wow, I cannot even believe you can do this. Two, it's so easy. It's not, I thought it was going to be this hard thing because, you know, we tend to think advertising is hard because we don't know how to do it. We mm -hmm. just show you ABC done. This is all you got to do. Do this. This always works. Try that. And it's in, in you know, so we want to make it easy for people because all of the genius that is advertising, when you look mm -hmm. at the ads that really work, they're so simple. The genius is in the simplicity. And so that's what we give you. So if you want to win, if you want your brand to do better, if you're frustrated because your ads aren't converting, your funnel doesn't work quite right, your social media isn't getting clicked, it's because you're not using the right formulas. We show you the ones that work. That's awesome. And I love how you say the, the simplicity is in, the genius is in the simplicity, which is, which is amazing. Now, now, you know, so everybody uh, who is in business could, uh, could benefit from using this uh, particular tool. How is it, how is it different though, from the alternatives? Um, um, you know, maybe you can refer to some similar things that might be, but what's different about Admanity uh, versus, you know, something else that, that businesses could use today? Sure. Well, first of all, it, it, again, as, as, as much as, as far as I know, there is no other company doing it just like this, where you can take a simple quiz and five minutes later be literally holding uh, all the answers in your hand that you can use for the next decade or more for your company. Mm. But the closest thing to us to get this kind of good, solid agency level advice is an agency. So typically, most small businesses, sooner or later, they get enough money, they have to hire a branding agency or a marketing agency or a strategy agency, um, somebody to help them craft this message. And they're going to have multiple people working on your account. They're going to ask you thousands of questions because they should. They're going to spend hopefully weeks at least working on ideas for you. And they're going to present some ideas to you eventually, and then you will make the decision. And this is how the agency business works. You hire people who can narrow it down to a few good ideas, and you, 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 know, you, you, you really have a much better chance of succeeding. And this takes weeks. It costs thousands of dollars in man hours. You're going to pay for all that. So we thought, gosh, A, it takes weeks, months sometimes, the bigger the brand, sometimes sometimes brands can work a year on a strategy to launch. You know, Super Bowl ads are that you saw this um, uh, this this recently on the Super Bowls, and a lot of those ads were created a long long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, so the, at least the smart people plan ahead. Let's put it that way. But it, you know, it takes time, costs a lot of money, and not everybody can go there. So we just said, hey, what if we could create algorithms that could do this in five minutes? That would be nice. And what if they matched similar to all the, what the agency would sell you? And, and I can tell you this, we've had a lot of agencies work with us and uh, they're customers of ours because they don't want to waste time either. Time is money. And so they tell us it's much easier just to get an admanity report on our, on our client. And then from within that, we can come up with strategies much faster than uh, if we just have to dream them up, you know, so uh, it really helps everybody at every level of the creation process. That's beautiful. And so five minutes, which is all the time that you need to be able to get this kind of feedback. I mean, that's incredible. Um, a lot of times businesses, they don't, they, they don't have time. That's the, that's the major complaint, but five minutes, uh, you're saying that we can um, go to your, uh, your site, spend five minutes answer some questions about the brand and you will be able to uh, to get us um, information that we need to really grow and move the needle forward. That's amazing, um, if you ask me. So talk to me about some of the practical things, though, that you can do, like what happens after that and any use case that you might have that 
that Admanity has really um, transformed uh, a brand? Yeah, the, um, what we do is we narrow it down. And you know, when I told you we researched all those ads over the last 100 yeah. years, here's the cool thing we found out. Everything boils down to 15 emotions when it comes to marketing. So these 15 emotions that we're all familiar with, like happiness and fear, mm -hmm. have sold everything on the planet. And they will continue to sell everything on the planet. Your kids, 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 children's kids will use these same 15 emotions, right? So it's never going to change. But what's interesting is there's certain combinations of those that work for different brands. So one brand might need these two paired together and another brand will need a completely different uh, assortment, right? Of mm -hmm. these 15 emotions. So that's what we show you. And that's what we give you um, in the report. So we actually give you the formulas to start creating ads or emails or social media posts or funnels, all the stuff you got to do these days. It all should be congruent. It should be saying the same types of things. And it all should be emotional because nobody has purchased on logic yet. The human brain does not buy on logic. It affirms on logic. It buys on emotion and it affirms on logic. So if you want somebody to buy, you need to get them emotional. You need to trigger that. And then after they've bought, then give them the brochure, right? Then give them the facts because now they'll, it'll make them feel better. So what we do is we show people this and they've been able to take this information and immediately start creating better websites, better ads, better emails. Uh, and, you know, probably the biggest compliment we get is that I now understand my brand on a level I never thought I needed to know. You know, most people say, oh, you know, I sell plumbing. So I'm a guy, I have a truck, I have some wrenches, I have some plumbing supplies, you know, you know, they think in terms of the, of the tools, but what they're not, they're not selling wrenches and plumbing trucks, right? And we show them how to think on the consumer side, this is what they think of plumbing. This is what they want out of plumbing. Give them that and you'll sell lots of plumbing. You start talking about how many wrenches you got in the big truck you got. Nobody cares. Really, nobody cares about you know, the features of your business. It's boring. What they want to know is what's in it for them. And um, we show you how to turn that conversation towards the consumer in an emotional way. And uh, people say it changes their brand. Um, you know, we have people that have completely transformed how they market uh, in a matter of weeks just from what they learned in their Admanity reports. And we also have a, a software package where we can help B2B businesses. So let's say your customers are other businesses. You're not selling to consumers. So maybe you don't even advertise, right? You might not even advertise. You might just sell to suppliers and wholesalers and this kind of thing. But we have a, a system where we can help you help them to understand their brands because um, you know you can you can help your B two B customers by using the Advanity protocol and then they buy more stuff from you and that's really fun and we show them you know I had a gal the other day that was in our program she was in the program for three weeks she made forty over forty two thousand dollars in new contracts um, just by giving them the Advanity protocol they were so grateful they bought everything she had so it works reciprocity in the B2B world. So we can help anybody really uh, with this product. This podcast is brought to you by MI Digital Hub. MI Digital Hub is a all-in-one 360 degree high level experience of your digital presence on the web today. If you would like to understand where you are now, what does your digital presence look like today? Visit midigitalhub.com gives you a full snapshot report on where you are when it comes to SEO, your performance, social media listing, your Google My Business listing, all of those things you will be able to find in a single tool like the MI Digital Hub. At the MI Digital Hub, you will be able to generate that snapshot report and manage exactly what's happening with your digital presence. So visit midigitalhub.com today Check it out, generate your free uh, report and certainly dive in to see how you can make 
changes when it comes to your digital marketing. This podcast is brought to you by M Messenger. M Messenger is your all in one SMS tool to facilitate SMS messaging across 200 countries around the world. Visit mmessenger.co to learn how you can start using SMS for notifications, for alerts, for updates, whatever you'd like to share with your uh, with your customers. M Messenger is the communication tool for you. mmessenger.co visit that uh, location and you will be able to learn more about how you can get started today with M Messenger. This podcast is brought to you by MI Group. MI is your source for technology solutions, digital marketing, and hosting your digital uh, assets on the web today. Visit uh, migroupco.com to learn how you can utilize uh, our services to help you grow your business uh, quickly. migroupco.com to learn more. That's amazing. That's really nice. And I heard you talking about some integration possibilities there too, where your emails are are, are much better. Your website, um, you know, obviously the things that you do uh, in terms of outreach. Talk to us a little more about that. Like, what else? Um, what else can we really then, after accessing the Admanity protocol? What, what are some of the other integration possibilities that exist across the entire advertising um, sphere for, for our businesses? Well, for example, let's also just share photos for one thing. Um, we've just partnered with the, one of the largest stock photo houses in the world. And they are essentially, we are able to offer every, these magnificent photos. Just most people don't know which photo to put in their ad. They'll say, well, I don't know, you know, put a picture of, you know, me standing in front of my plumbing truck, okay, as something that they have laying around the old office. And we show them, no, 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 that's not the photo you want. I know, I know you like that photo, but this is the photo that will make somebody buy. Hmm. And, um, and so we're able now to curate the photos from millions of photos. And then that's the next phase where we're going to actually show you the photos you should be using for your brand. We give you access to them all now, but um, that's coming soon. So we'll be able to help people in that way because the right photo can make you a million dollars. There's no no question about that. But again, business people are not perfect at photo selection. They're not advertising gurus, right? So we're going to help them with that. Uh, we have a program called Brand Cannon where we just uh, we just launched it. And if you have a, uh, let's say you want to nurture your businesses that are doing business with you. So we give them the Admanity protocol, and then we have a 100 email nurture that teaches them one email at a time, how to grow their brand, how to blow it up, how to write the right headlines, how to pick the right photos, how to do all this emotional stuff, how to do it. And um, it's, it's it, hey, we're getting a 50% open rate on our emails and a 9% click through rate. So it's the perfect nurture campaign and it's all built for you. It's done. All you have to do is send out, uh, get them to opt into it. And um, it's one of our free services. So, you know, for the right company that that could be a game changer because to write a hundred strategically written emails, well copywritten with links to videos and audios and the right photos and all kinds of a wonderful advice would cost you about a hundred thousand dollars in today's market and uh, with us it's free i mean it's ridiculous um and it, it'll help it, so we have something for everybody i guess what i'm trying to say it doesn't matter what you do for a living we have a way to help you you should go to edmanity.com and maybe uh, send us an email check in with us get yourself the test prove it to yourself first don't take my word for it take the test Analyze your brand, and if, you know if you're not blown away, in 30 days we'll give you your money back. Wow, that's that's amazing, and 
Um, I was, and I was just about to ask about people who are interested in this, because this sounds like this system is power packed with stuff to really help you to move your needle forward. Um, so folks who are interested, they just need to go to um, adamanty, um, adamanity, I'm, I'm sorry, um, dot com, correct, to, to be able to access uh, the, the, the initial uh, uh, test and then access, of course, other items that you have in there. Yeah, we have uh, admanity.com. And by the way, that's just advertising combined with humanity. That's where we get right, the right. <laughs> admanity. Go there. You can buy whatever we have right there. You can also watch a free webinar that tells you everything about it and gives you all the details. So if you're one of those people that just wants to know every little thing that we give you, that is in the webinar, absolutely free. Uh, we'll show you all of that. We have B2B consultations available. So if you want to know which B2B product we have that might be ideal for your type of, of selling business, if you sell advertising or you sell plumbing parts, there, you know, we, we can help you, uh, you know, work with your customers. Send us an email. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn, Brian Gregory, um, Admanity, it'll find me. I'm not a LinkedIn snob. I will actually talk to you. I know it's amazing. We will communicate. If you look me up on LinkedIn and we have a special gift, can, is this a good time to mention the special giveaway for your, your listeners? Oh yeah, absolutely. We can, we can talk about it now. Okay. Um, we have a special gift just for your listeners. And if they go to admanity.com forward slash more, M-O-R-E for your show name, admanity.com forward slash more. There's a free report. No obligation. You don't have to buy anything. Download it. And um, it's about 20 pages. And it'll tell you why emotions sell everything on the planet. And it'll show you which emotions sell everything on the planet. And it'll show you examples of big, giant, enormous, billion-dollar brands that have figured this out and how they did it. And here's a, you know, I know you're going to ask me for a tip in a minute, so I won't give it away. But we're going to show you how they did it. And you can do it too. So get the free Amazing. Report. Amazing. So yeah, folks, I think uh, that's going to be really nice for you to have um, and connect into the ad management system. Now, now staying in business for years, Brian, I know um, it's not been easy. You've had an incredible journey. Uh, I always like to, to know how have you done it? And what would you say has been the best thing? I know top of the show, you mentioned admanity has been one of the, the best thing you've um, created but talk to us a little more. How have you done uh, what you did uh, to date? And what would you say has uh, been the best thing that happened to you? You know, it's, it, there's so many things, gosh. Uh, I would say if, if we're talking to other entrepreneurs out there, you know, obviously don't be afraid, get started, do something, right? At least fail, at least fall on your face. And you'll learn something. Hopefully, you know, you don't go out, out of the game. You just go out for this for a few minutes and get back in the game. You know, I would say if I was an entrepreneur and I was 20 years old and I'm talking to my former self, I would tend to think I'm brilliant at this age. I would tend to think everything I'm gonna do is gonna turn to gold instantly. And you know, I'm pretty smart. And you find out real fast in the business world that it's not that way. Mm -hmm. even beautifully thought out ideas just sometimes don't work. You have to be able to pivot. And man, that is one of the hardest things to do to, to admit to yourself, to look in the mirror and say, oops, that didn't work. And I'm really disappointed because I really wanted that to work and it should have worked. And maybe you can blame it on somebody, but the bottom line is you're the only person that has to take responsibility for it. It is your problem. So even if it's not your fault, it is your problem. Pivot, 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 and plan on it. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're making hot dogs and you have a hot dog cart sitting in front of Costco. And that's mm -hmm. a proven model. Figure out where the torpedoes are going to be in the water. You know, what are you going to do if it rains? What are you going to do if they kick you out of Costco? What are you going to do if, the, if the, you, know, you can't get the hot dogs anymore? Figure out how all the pivot points that could possibly come towards you like torpedoes in the water. Write down what, that's, what those are going to be plan for a preemptive strike okay 
because it's going to happen. Some of those are coming your way. You just don't know which ones. If I had to lecture an entrepreneur, it would be read your press release, but don't believe every word that you, you, you put out there in the universe, right? Just know that you're going to change. It's going to evolve and be that guy that can, um, or that gal that can, that can look themselves in the mirror and say, okay, I admit it. I, I need, I need to change this if I want to win. Because if you keep moving forward with a bad plan, I guarantee your competitors are just going to kick your butt all the way to the bankruptcy court. They're not going to care. They're going to take advantage of that. You have to be on the, on the lead of it, not mm. reacting at the last possible minute. So there, that would be my advice. That's solid advice. And thank you for sharing that. Um, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you'd, you'd like to share? Anything else that you want to share with us today? Yeah, there's a, we have a principle that it sounds weird when you first hear it. And here it is. Small businesses should advertise just like billion dollar brands. And of course, the small business person says, oh, this guy's nuts. I can't advertise like Coca-Cola. I can't advertise like Amazon. I'm not a billion dollar brand. Why they, they have experts and they have money and they have distribution and, uh, you know. And true, all, all that is true. But here's an interesting fact. There's no royalty on emotions. There's no royalty on formula. There's no royalty on words. There's no royalty on color. There's no royalty if you buy photos through us. There's no royalty even on a nice photo. So you have so many tools at your disposal that, that you can use. Copy the big guys. If you're in an industry where there's some big guys, it doesn't have to be Amazon. It could be just, maybe you're a plumber and there's one plumber in your town that's making millions of dollars and they got a hundred trucks and you're still one truck chuck. And you're sitting out there going, why am I so small? Start looking at what the big guy's doing and do it because they are on a, they're onto something. They're probably closer to the right emotional formula than you've been, right? You should advertise just like the big brands. You just do it smaller. You don't buy as many ads. You don't run a high production TV commercial. You run a low production TV commercial, right? But you trigger the same exact emotions. You can use the same exact words. You can mm -hmm. use the colors, right? You can use all the tricks. Just you can't spend as much money right now. But someday, if you do that, you will. And small businesses should never, ever, ever think they need to advertise like little, small businesses. You should use the same tactics the big guys are using because let's face it, they are showing you every day exactly how to be huge. They have to. They have to reveal all of their tricks and secrets. They have to. On every commercial that you see in, on prime time, they are showing you how to do it, right? And, and so you must learn from them because they are already there. So yeah. that, I, I cannot stress that enough. The little guys should do it just like the big guys. Just don't spend as much money. Yeah, I, I like that. I, I, and it's a principle that counts, right? And I, I think that's, that's amazing. Very well said. I always like to know, you know, what, 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 what kind of books do you read and what kind of podcasts do you listen to so we can, we can follow your footsteps. So talk, talk to me a little about what, what books, uh, you know, maybe you have read or you're currently reading that, has really done um, done something for you. Yeah, um, I'm reading a couple of books right now. Uh, one is really well known. It's called uh, 10X by Grant Cardone. Uh, reading that and finding that very fun. And, and he's an excellent writer uh, about how to 10X your business. And then I'm also reading a book you probably never heard of. It's called How to um, Sell Anything to Anybody uh, by a guy by the name of Joe Girard. And uh, a lot of people don't know who he is, but uh, for 13 years, 12 or 13 years, the Guinness Book of Records anointed him the greatest salesman in the world. He sold more cars. He's a car salesman. He sold over 13,000 cars. And he sold more, you know, as an average car salesman might sell, you know, one car every other day. He would mm. sell six to seven per day, you know, every single day for 12 years without a miss. 
And so he explains how to do that, uh, you know, what tricks he used to, uh, you know, to become such a great salesperson. So basic when you see how he did it, um, that it, it's, you, you wonder why more people aren't doing it. But, you know, like, like I said, if you want to know how to, how to do it, just there's nothing you need to know that hasn't already been done pr pretty much. If you want to know how to get to the moon, hey, we've done that. So selling your product shouldn't be very hard. So I like to read books by people who've actually done it um, because they're the best, fastest way to the good life that I, I can think of. I totally, I totally agree. And, and what about podcasts? I mean, what, what, what kind of a podcast do you listen to these days? Well, I've been, I've been, you know, I gotta be honest, I've been doing more podcasts than I have been, uh, you know, to able to tune into. Um, but I love, I love stories about entrepreneurs because it seems like I'm always in one phase of this entrepreneurial journey my whole life. I love hearing about the failures as much as the, oh, uh, we got a billion dollars in funding and now we're doing great. You know, I love, I love hearing all the sides of it because I love hearing how they've had to pivot. Almost every entrepreneur has these stories about how it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. And then all of a sudden, boom, it worked. Um, I love hearing those stories because you, you can never, ever, 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 ever give up according to Winston Churchill. And it's so true. So I listen to mostly story, again, people who've done it, people who are doing it, people in the trenches, not necessarily all rich people, but people, you know, who are rich in spirit. Let's put it that mm -hmm. way. Amazing. Amazing. Well, Brian, we're always looking for creators and master users of tools and systems um, that can really help uh, uh, businesses, particularly those who are listening uh, to grow. Um, do you have any, any recommendations? Who should we be talking to next uh, to really, um, you know, pour into our listeners on tools that they could use, they could use to grow? Uh, we're in this tech business and it seems like there's a new tech, tech thing every day, right? 10, 10, 10 new tech things a day. What am I saying? <laughs> I always say the bullet train of technology is moving at 300 miles an hour and its job is to stay ahead of you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a, there's a great, uh, uh, you know, a great software development company uh, called intelligent.coach. Mm -hmm. if, if you go to the internet and they're able to fabricate uh, things that would help you cr create curriculums and present things better to the world. Uh, we've used them. Um, and, you know, it's, you know, I love, I love working with, with them. Um, I love working with anybody who, who's using testing software. Uh, I think it's one of the greatest ways to get into, uh, to get to know your customers is mm -hmm. to offer, you know, some form of diagnostic tool, because if you can do something they can't, that instantly they want to talk to you more. And yeah. we don't always realize what we can't do. Right. So until somebody points that out, um, so, you know, there's so many good ones, but we had to build, we had to do our own. We couldn't find anything that was out of the box. Cool. Um, yeah. You know, when we do the Edmanity protocol, there's over 1600 variables being analyzed in five minutes. So it's, it's crazy. Right. Um, and it's true, false. It's so simple. It's either true or false. And that much stuff is going on. So, you know, that, that gives you an idea. If you don't know how to do some of this diagnostic stuff, find the people who do, because um, it, it gives you a real point of difference. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, uh, Brian, for sharing that. I think this is really lovely. Um, I can't wait to check out the Admanity system myself. And, and we encourage folks again, uh, go to admanity.com to access uh, the, uh, the system that we're talking about here. This could really help your business uh, to transform yourselves to the next level. And here on this show, we're always helping you to control your growth by providing opportunities like this conversation that we're having so that you can move to the next level. So Brian, thank you for jumping in. I really appreciate it. We want to check in with you a couple months from now, hopefully. Um, so, you know, let's, we don't want to be a stranger, but we want to check in and see how are things uh, with the system and uh, definitely looking forward to staying in touch. Thanks, Ricardo. We love you. We love your show. We love your mission. So call us anytime. Absolutely. Thank you. That was Brian Gregory talking about Admanity, 
a system to really help you to revolutionize your brand. I hope you took away as much as I did from this. This was amazing um, information. And uh, don't forget to support Brian in what he's actually doing. But also uh, subscribe to our podcast. We love bringing you these content. We love hearing from you. You telling us how we did. Leave us a review. Give us a rating. Uh, it really, it really helps when you can come behind us and share that information. And so, folks, I, I really hope you had a great takeaway from this conversation. Until next time, though, don't forget to choose a tool to help you rule your growth. We'll talk soon.